as I stated earlier, we're now going to talk about the reactivity series. I kept on repeating the word reactivity series, reactivity series, reactivity series. Finally, we're here. The reactivity series is just an arrangement of metals in based on their reactivity. So the higher the metal on the series, the higher its reactivity. Metals high above the series are more reactive than metals low on the series. The more reactive metals displace the less reactive ones in a reaction. So for example, if we have potassium, and then let's say copper chloride. Now this potassium will knock the copper away in a reaction. The reason is because potassium is higher above copper. Therefore potassium is stronger when it comes to reactions. Now the reactivity series is a list of metals placed in order of their increase in reactivity. It can be used to make predictions about the reactions of metals, just as I stated here. Potassium will knock copper off, and then we get potassium chloride. One way to remember this order is to learn this silly sentence. Silly in quotes. Okay? It may not make sense, but it can help us really remember the reactivity series. The order in which the elements appear. Potassium. Please, sodium, send, calcium, chalice, magnesium, monkeys, aluminium, ant, zinc, zebra, iron, in, lead, lead, or yes, the same lead, copper, cages, silver, securely, gold, guarded. So here we have, please send chalice monkeys and zebras in lead cages securely guarded please send charlie's monkeys and zebras in lead cages securely guarded and what does that stand for it stands for potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead copper silver and gold so please memorize the sentence and that can help you remember the order in which the reactivity series the elements in the reactivity series appear 